Okay, hey, welcome back to the show. Um, if you if you don't know Cluster Truck, then shame on you. Shame. Shame <laughs> on you. We're going to introduce you to two gentlemen, Rob Green and Travis Hall of Cluster Truck. Gentlemen, how are you doing? Doing well. I'm doing great today. Fantastic. Look at what we have! Wow, look, awesome. what, look what arrived And this here. was not a prop. This was not staged. We literally ordered it, and it appeared in perfect timing. Amazing. I think it was actually hanging out uh, before we were able to close out the next segment, the last segment, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Not really. We are huge, huge fans of Cluster Truck. And in fact, your neighbors. Uh, thanks so, so so much for coming over and being on the show today. Oh, thank you for having us yeah. on the show. You, know. you are more than welcome. Well, first things, uh, congratulations are in order. Uh, and... Uh, Rob and Travis, right? That's correct. correct. Ac excellent. Yep. Uh, we understand Cluster Truck had just received two Mira Awards, uh, the new yep. startup of the year and innovator of the year. Yeah, that's absolutely right. So we're really grateful for that today. Oh, that's fantastic. For those of you that don't know, uh, Mira Awards are uh, Tech Points Awards for innovation and, and all things uh, business growth uh, inside of Indianapolis. So it's a, it's a fantastic honor to be able to receive an award or even be nominated for that matter. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's really impressive. Here are some other recent stats uh, and facts about Cluster Truck. Check this out. You recently had a driver uh, hit the, the amazing benchmark of 100,000 Cluster Truck deliveries. Uh, 10,000. 10,000. 10,000? 10, 10,000. Yeah. 10, okay. Well, still pretty impressive. <laughs> <laughs> There's a goal. There's a goal. Yes. 100,000. Yeah. Raise the bar. So 10,000 Cluster Truck deliveries. That, yeah, that seems that seemed kind of high there. <laughs> We love adding zeros to things, so, you know. Fantastic. Well, then 300% of your drivers are no, in it. No, <laughs> We have 30% of your drivers in Indy are actually bike couriers. Yeah. Yes. And uh, 32 drivers have delivered more than 1,000 orders. That's a huge yeah. amount of orders. Many to yeah. this building. <laughs> Absolutely. You I guys think, got a big red dot on your uh, building. We li <laughs> literally, literally. In fact, they're starting to ask us what we want for our lunch every day we're always thinking you know the ai in there <laughs> first name basis <laughs> i just need the cluster truck trip chip <laughs> you know, it's just wet wired and i'll be fine um all that uh, 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 the fact that anyone who's living under a rock isn't aware of what cl cluster truck cluster truck is give us a brief uh, description of what the service is yeah so we uh are a food delivery service that uh, we have over 100 menu items and uh we have uh basically virtual food trucks online where you can get uh you know uh, food that is uh, made fresh, local, and uh, we're from a from-scratch kitchen. Right. And, uh, you know, uh, what we're out there to solve is a problem where people are wanting uh, good food delivered quickly to them. And so uh, it's Cluster Truck. That's it in a nutshell? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you basically really need to order food, you know, to find out what Cluster Truck is. Absolutely. The food com. is fantastic. Yeah. And, I mean, there, there's been a lot of uh, delivery organizations in the past. I mean, even dating about 10 years, I remember one yeah. that was uh, delivering food out of Broderville, right? Mm -hmm. um, and they were, they, they were, you know, sometimes successful in just a delivery standpoint, but the food is always continued on the restaurant, right? Right. right. Your restaurant's right there. You're making everything uh, predominantly uh, from scratch, That's, right? That correct. is absolutely correct. So and, we have a local kitchen, and right. then basically drivers are coming to that kitchen, opposed to the model where you have drivers going out to a restaurant and right. having to find out, you know, where that person is and they have to collect that order and then they have to... The then, right order. The, the right order, right. absolutely, <laughs> where they're not upsetting the staff and uh, then they're trying to then get back to you right. with that food. And so, and unfortunately, the food suffers and you suffer as because you're waiting never know. six waiting. million hours. <laughs> they never know where the driver's at, which is the right. primary problem. The restaurant has no idea who the driver is paired with what order. So the, sometimes the driver can arrive first way too efficient so they're sitting there in the lobby waiting for somebody to cook that food yep or they cook the food immediately and the driver gets there 30 minutes later either way the food has been the driver or the food is going to be waiting that's that's yeah. mad food at that point in time. It is. It, it, get hangry not, <laughs> a little bit yeah <laughs> um so it's it's you you brought it all together and uh this was a vision of chris baggett if i'm not mistaken yeah, yep. it was fantastic, and we're huge fans of them, uh, of him. Um, you know, we were just talking to uh, Pete Butler, uh, MS Co uh, MS Companies, who discussed the role of the gig economy. Right. Well, uh, Cluster Truck has a unique business model, particularly as it relates to the gig economy. So, can you tell us more about that concept? Yeah. So, all of our deliveries are performed by independent contractors, couriers. Like you said, thirty percent are bike couriers, and we have some of the best bike couriers here in the city. I mean. Uh, 
it's a it's a lifestyle for them. It really is. They love being on the bike, and uh, you know, I hate to I hate to pit any groups against in, uh, each other, but in under nine blocks, they can beat any car. Um, oh, <laughs> that's awesome. So yeah, so we're excited about that, and uh, you they're know, they're also so polite when they arrive. They like what so they do. Nice. Yeah, you know, it's yeah. it, it's not like uh, some of the other gig companies. You know, you hate to say it, Uber, Lyft, some of these. You know, people are very unhappy with that. You know, they Shots don't fired. They don't feel. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Hey, there are there there are biggest uh, they were our biggest help in recruiting. Um, you know, oh, really? I, I came from that space. Um, I had done it. I had uh, it was easy for me to relate to these drivers. They're mm -hmm. fed up with mm -hmm. earnings being messed with and just not enough jobs out there. And so the model that that Chris and our development team has created has been has been great for them. And that's why we don't have to worry about folks showing up every morning to take you twenty cookies. Every morning, I don't. Well, I, 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 that, you need well, cookies every Let me morning. Let so. on that dotted yeah. line now. Stop yeah. that right now! <laughs> wow, uh, but I mean that 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 I mean you're, it's created a a, a, a subculture. Yeah. These these bikers are fantastic, and right. they got bragging rights on their bags. Those things are yeah. cool. Yeah. And I mean, they're I mean they 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 they're digging into this, and they, they there's a personal identity that is tied to the cl the cluster truck biking group, let alone just the entire the entire delivery service. I mean, they're very happy delivering this because it's 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 they're part of a great community inside their organization, right? Yeah, part of a family. Maybe. Very very little turnover. I mean, no turnover really. I mean, the like you said, the sixty eight people have made. 99% of our deliveries in the last year, which is incredible oh, yes. when you think about mm -hmm. companies like Uber who spend millions of dollars to combat the turnover because people are just fed up and go elsewhere. They're right. looking for another gig that fits their life. Where with us, you know, it's a fair system. It's very transparent. They know if they get in in the day that they're going to make a certain amount of money. And, you know, they like that. And that's why they show up every day. Uh, we have a Facebook uh, uh, a follower asking, when will Cluster Truck deliver out to North Carolina? Oh, uh, <laughs> so we're, we're eyeing some places out there. Yeah, so maybe sooner than uh, sooner than we think. So getting into that that that, that space right there uh, about growth, because you do have a proximal issue. You've got to be able to, especially with with mm -hmm. the food staying fresh. Man, there's yeah. a delivery radius, radius yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. So what is that radius, and what does that business model look like? Yeah. So uh, we predominantly try to stay within around a three mile radius of wherever okay. our kitchen location's at. And so, um, and even when we go into other locations, we try to keep that uh, roughly uh, within around a 10 minute delivery. So we don't necessarily want to go outside that because we want, don't want to have uh, the food suffer uh, for the customer. And Got so, uh, you know, as we continue to grow and expand, uh, we'll look for other opportunities there. So, and start uh, looking in Broad Ripple, okay? <laughs> <laughs> little plug there. Right? <laughs> I'll give you my address later, no, 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 and then no, you can no, be no. within three miles of that address. That would be right. fine. That's wow. right. It's a great location up there. Nothing biased about that comment <laughs> no. whatsoever. I support the Broad Ripple community. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. Wow. Uh, so uh, growth opportunities, mm -hmm. uh, where are you targeting? Yeah, uh, we've got a couple of opportunities out there. We're looking over at uh, Columbus, Ohio, and Cleveland. Cool. Um, Potentially Kansas over City. in Denver, Kansas City. So those are some of our uh, big hot topics that we're going to uh, locations that we're going to be hitting uh, here uh, very very soon. So be on the lookout, you know, because uh, especially if you're in those locations, uh, we're always uh, looking for beta users. So uh, sign up, potentially get a free meal out of it. <laughs> Chris, <laughs> Chris just chimed in. Quotes proximal radius. <laughs> did I actually say? That? I guess I did, didn't I? <laughs> thanks, thanks for chiming in, Chris. Appreciate it. Um, so you have really focused on this gig economy connection, and you really re aim at treating drivers with fairness and respect, and, and that and that's the, you're not finding that in other gigs like like you're talking about. I mean, you don't over recruit, right? And you ensure that drivers are rewarded with more work. Yeah. So tell us about how you came to embracing this philosophy and developing that culture. Well, when you look at other gig uh, gig companies out there, you know, I think there's a level of uh, you know just being tone deaf. You know, they don't really understand that, you know, like the previous guest uh, mm -hmm. talked about, just having that, that level of choice that's out there. You know, if you're Uber and you're, you're talking about, you know, the, the latest commercial that they did, talking about um, uh, get your side hustle on, like, right. you know, like you only exist to make Uber money. Right, you know? right, right. And there's just, you know, there's something a little off about that. And, you know, the folks that work for us. You know, we everything that we think about is to get them more jobs per hour. Because right. if you get them more jobs to, per hour, that means you're getting to the customer faster. The food is better, uh, better, you know, higher quality, and you know that you don't have to worry about those things like uh, you know constantly recruiting and filling gaps from folks that just are fed up with you mm. and want to go elsewhere. You know, you look at food delivery; it's kind of a final mile service. 
But within that, other services have that other final mile of the final mile. Like, I've got to go park my car. Do I risk getting a ticket, put the flashers on, double park, run up and try to get past gatekeepers and door codes and right. take it up to the 35th floor of, you know, Salesforce Tower? I mean, it's those are the things that enter your, into your mind and reduce the number of runs per hour that other gig drivers would uh, would typically face with other services. Hmm. Well, uh, that's awesome. And and you you see this growing. You see these family. I mean, literally, instead of franchises, I, I realize they're not doing franchise uh, deployment, but you are literally incubating families in these different re uh, regions everywhere mm -hmm. you go, right? Is, is that the concept? Is that is that these this gig group, I mean, if you're going into, into Broad Ripple, right? Mm -hmm. You're gonna have a. a <laughs> Do it. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna build a family of giggers yeah. that are that that aren't. I mean, the the gig concept uh, traditionally, well, conventionally, is about that internet uh, uh, worker that can actually work on projects from the knowledge side of things. These people are uh, these are feet or tires on the ground yeah. moving, and they this is 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 almost a landlocked type of gig economy, but. I mean, re, uh, but you're you're leading with respect and le leading with uh, a great family concepts, right? And and I mean, I can only imagine that the retention of these workers is fantastic. The turnover is probably very low percentages, all all things considered. The, the turnover over that we've had has always been: I graduated from IUPUI and I just got a job elsewhere, oh, yeah. Yeah, or yeah, yeah, yeah. I mm -hmm. this was a you know I've moved on to something else. It, it's never been I've gotten fed up with this, and, and that's that that really makes us feel good in what we do when we see there. We you know we walk in, we park, and we pass everybody every single morning, and folks are there even before we start cooking orders. Yeah. And you know they they say hello to you, they yeah. talk with you, they feel like they have access. You listen to their ideas. That you know some of our best ideas and how we've improved the system have come from them. Really. Um and they're just, you know, and you know that's we, that's incredible right yeah. there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you don't get that with other services no. where you you know you get passed off to some you know, automated system for a response. You know, right. if you have a question about the way the technology works, the way the app works, I mean, you actually get a real person with us if uh, you have a question with uh, tech support for how your delivery app is working. I saw yeah. the nicest thing mm -hmm. yesterday. This is no joke. You're our neighbor. We are right down the street from you. Yeah. I drove by. There were three bikers outside with their, you know, getting their bags situated. I was driving by. They gave each other a three-way high five, and then they like all deployed and went their separate directions. <laughs> I was like, "That is amazing!" Yeah. Oh, that is crazy. Really it cool. was like the nicest. Oh, yeah. I, I made me like teary-eyed, like watching a commercial. I was like, "Oh my god, they're friends, and they're going to go deliver their food, and everybody's excited." That was. It was so nice to see that. Though I was like, "Oh my, that's perfect timing." Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. You should or orchestrate that every yeah, day. You know, should have done a video. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. you need Next cameras. Time, you, you need know, cameras we're everywhere. Go down, yeah. Yeah. We can help there. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, so Cluster Truck celebrated its one-year anniversary this month, and you've opened a second location in Bloomington uh, in late February, yeah. right? Yeah. And you're working on the third in Columbus mm -hmm. uh, in Ohio uh, with at least three more kitchens following by the end of the year. That's fantastic growth. Yeah. It really is. And, I mean, Indiana's proud of you, but uh, on top of everything else, you're, you're bringing a, a, an economy to to uh, an environment that is that's that people can plug into and yeah. the quality of the food is fantastic so i gotta mm -hmm. ask and one of our, one of our facebook listeners or our watchers are asking what is your favorite item on the menu uh that that you provide this is must know information uh, uh, breakfast burrito i hate to say breakfast yeah. i haven't burrito. had that one yet oh. Oh. oh man you gotta get the breakfast burrito if you've never had the breakfast burrito i mean it i mean it's it's huge Breakfast burrito. So it could be like so, breakfast and lunch burrito. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay. I mean, no, like, because then you wouldn't be able to order the lunch menu. Oh, that's oh yeah. True. That's yeah true. So, I mean, yeah. So you gotta suffer through it. Yeah. Power absolutely. through. <laughs> uh, mine's actually uh, one of the the pad thai. I love the pad thai. Ooh. Yeah, that's. I'm phenomenal. a big fan of of pad thai. Oh. I really, you know, I gotta try that out then. It's killer. Huh. The queso is my oh. pick. Oh. Just a bowl of, I had it was a rainy day yeah. had the bowl delivered and I'm just at my desk like basically just funneling it into my it was wonderful wow. it was wonderful and yeah it's kind of gross we actually we don't we avert eyes when we do it because <laughs> uh, I, I don't know what's going on there well, at least there. I don't use a straw it's very okay, disturbing for the rest of the crew <laughs> <laughs> <And> uh, <laughs> 
My favorite. Uh, yeah, I mean, honestly, I've been pursuing uh, this diet for a while. This low carb, almost no carb diet, right? <laughs> and uh, the the the, the cob salad is by far a fantastic thing. No oh. guacamole. I love guacamole, but I can take it off. Um, throw some blue cheese on there. The blue, blue cheese, cheese is fantastic. Yeah. And I'm a blue cheese connoisseur. I really am. And it, I mean, it, it just Great. knocks my socks off. And then you Great. throw some some buffalo chicken on top of it. Yeah. All low or no carb. Everything's good there. Oh, that's amazing. And, and the great thing is we can all get different things. Yes. You know, so we're not sitting there thinking, oh, man, I just need to get, you know, just pizza. Uh, but, you know, maybe we need, you know, somebody wants to have tacos. Want somebody yeah. else wants pad thai. Another person wants, you know, uh, the queso dip. And, you know, another person's like, you know what? Today I really have got to have a salad. And, uh, <laughs> you know, that's, that was the great thing, you know, about the cluster truck. And it's all from scratch. So you're not sitting there having, you know, deal with any uh, uh, bad quality of the food. So that's what we really, really, uh, you know, strive for. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, on, on Facebook, uh, Chris Baggett says mug, the original mug. Oh, the mug. Oh, my goodness. The mug burger. Yeah. Yes. That's, and the great thing about uh, the mug that is uh, from Tyner Pond <laughs> Farm. And uh, that's a, a local farm here uh, in Indiana. And yeah. so, you know, that's. You got to put a plug there. Oh, fantastic. We got pad thai, uh, pizza and salads. People are just chiming in on their favorite menus. <laughs> uh, baby kale salad. Baby kale. Uh, hey, Cobb. Very oh, cool. Very we got to vote for the Cobb. And uh, Savannah Smokehouse grilled cheese. Oh, yeah. What? That is that sandwich is huge. And no. I mean, you got, you, you know, you've got, uh, you know, the grilled cheese, but it has, you know, the macaroni and you've got uh, the pulled pork and just all mashed together. I mean, you just, Oh, what have I been amazing. doing with my life? <laughs> yeah, so you just got to keep searching through the menu. And I mean, well, you know, I just, just find the queso and I'm like, there it is. <laughs> that, Why wow. go further than that? Wow. Done. That's my next Buffalo story. chicken mac and cheese with bacon. Okay, Ken, I think that's that's a, that's a fantastic. Okay, so Nate Torovic from our, our, our CSO here at Cytrotetics asks, will you ever team up with another service to, to perhaps do food and adult beverages? Oh my gosh, Nate, uh, great question. Thank you from the other that, room. That is, that is, <laughs> that's a great question. Uh, we, uh, we did team up uh, with uh, Mini Bar uh, for a little while, but uh, there's, we're still, uh, still working on it. There's a few like legalities yeah. there. Yeah, so we're we're, we're not necessarily uh, in in that realm just yet. So Nate, no, you cannot order cluster truck bourbon. Okay, yes. I'm just saying. I'm yes. just saying more bourbon. <laughs> well, uh, you know, this is fantastic. How can we help uh, in in this? How can we get mm -hmm. the word out beyond above and beyond this show? Oh, I mean, just being able, you know, just being able to uh, share with your friends and, uh, you know, what makes a great experience with Cluster Truck is uh, if you and a friend order along. I mean, you know, so basically having uh, more than just uh, ordering for yourself, you know, you can also everybody gets to order what they want. Exactly. And uh, you guys are sharing a meal together. So we've had you're bringing so families together. We've all been helping your driver. And helping your driver yeah, as yeah. well. We've actually had a fantastic response from our guests, our clients, whenever we're meeting and having lunch. Well, the, the cool thing is Cluster Truck's a software as well. Yep. It's, it's not just a delivery service. There's been a lot of focus in developing a very intuitive software pack. And I tip, I tip my hat to that because of our industry. Um, but you can set up a, a group order very quickly, and you can allow, allow it to anybody to pay for their own or yep. be able to pay for the entire meal. This is a great service if you're yep. trying to, to, to uh, bring in clients and, mm -hmm. and have that first great yeah. impression is just go there. I've got it covered. Right. And order what you want. And then on top of that, what a icebreaker or a relationship builder, because, hey, this is a yeah. great this is a great menu item or this is. Have you tried this? You can actually get into a conversation even before right. they get here and sit down and, and do some business. And, yeah. and Cluster Truck is right on time all the time. It's fantastic. I love it. Can't say anything when more. do we get to eat the cookies? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we got to dive into the cookies. Yeah, get, dive into the cookies <laughs> while while we're talking. Go ahead and dive in. Open that puppy up. Okay. Uh, you can find fa uh, cl uh, Cluster Truck on social media at facebook.com forward slash Cluster Truck, yep. Twitter uh, at Cluster Truck, Instagram at Cluster Truck. Uh, you know, and, and on top of yep. everything else, the website is clustertruck.com. What a great name, too. Yeah. And the, this rolls on, uh, and she, she, she didn't share the cookies. She's literally. I mean, look how huge cookies. those cookies are. I yeah. mean, you know. Oh my gosh! Look at this. Look at. Can we? Can we? Can we zoom on those? Look how big these cookies are. Look at that! Look at that! Oh my gosh! All right. Your face. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. Uh, you know, sharing is sharing is caring, guys. Um, thank you so much for Cluster Truck. Yep. 
Thanks, oh, thanks Chris for Baggett for, for Cluster Truck as well. Thanks it's a for fantastic. being a good neighbor. Well, thank you. You're more than welcome. Remember, guys, sharing is is caring. So share the stream, share uh, share the cluster, and tell them what you think, uh, and give them some feedback because they love hearing from you. What a great it's beyond an experiment. What a great culture uh, that you have with your followers as well as well as with your drivers and administration. So fantastic job. Keep up the good work, and we'll keep on having you over over oh. here, bringing us fantastic food. We'll keep you busy. Don't worry. Yep. Thank you. Thank Absolutely. You. <laughs>